So in the studio today, we've got ourselves a set of Chemifun KMU208A. Now this is gonna allow you to take any of your standard XLR microphones like your Shures, Sennheisers, AKGs, Sterlings, or any other microphone that you may have and turn that wired XLR cable connection into a wireless system. Very convenient, very nice to have. It's better than just going and saying, I'm gonna dedicate myself to a wireless system. This allows you to easily switch back and forth from a cable hardwired system to a wireless on your favorite microphone. So in this video, I am going to show you how the phantom power works by connecting it to a condenser microphone and also connecting it to a Sterling P30, which is a hybrid microphone. It has a actual amplifier built into it, which is gonna give you three to six dB lift on the actual dynamic microphone, which is normally passive. So we're gonna make this guy sound great by using the phantom power on the Chemifun U208. So if you've got an awkward setup when it comes to using a condenser microphone for an interview, you can always use the actual wireless attachment. It does have phantom power in it and it does allow you to do this. So if you want to do an interview and you didn't want to have those cables in line of sight because of you know some unique setup that you're going for, you could use a wireless system like this. I could still use a three foot XLR cable if I wanted to, to make this happen. And I can run all the filters afterwards to get rid of any particular hiss that you may or may not get depending on your overall setup. Now remember wireless microphones are great for live applications. If you're going to use them in a studio or in a one-on-one -on -one recording session where you're going to be going to an audio interface or to a mixing board and capturing all of that, you may have to run some filters through it afterwards to really get rid of any background noise that you may get on it. In a live setup, you're not even going to notice that it's there. There's so much background noise already that any subtle hiss down at the bottom on your mic is not even gonna be noticed. So what I'm doing here is I'm using a P30 and it has a power lift built into the actual system. It has a little micro amplifier in there. It's gonna give us up to a 6 dB gain increase. 48 volt power on the Kimifun, which is really nice. That's what's running the actual amp inside this dynamic microphone. Really smart stuff. Again, Sterling's P30 if you're looking for a really good interview microphone, because as soon as I turn this away from my it goes away because it's dynamic. It's very directional. It really wants to work in this direction and this direction only. Now, outside of that, there's something very important about the Kimifun, which is the screw down attachment right here. So normally these things just clip in, they have a button, you push on them and they're in. The problem is they're not secure because we all know that XLR connections are never the same. There's always a little bit of play. But with this, there's a collar. When you turn that collar, it does two things. It pushes up the locking mechanism and then it pushes against the microphone and what that does is gives us a solid solid connection so now i can really handle this microphone from the actual wireless and that is why it has these molded shapes to it you can hang on to it from down here do a proper interview with somebody and not worry about it now remember this system was built to have big range it standard right off the hop as is you're going to get yourself anywhere between 50 and 65 feet that's 15 to 20 meters but you can add the antenna which is going to boost that range all the way up to 50 meters which is 165 feet which is going to be the limit without having to get a license for your wireless microphone system so there you go 50 meters 165 feet with the adapters on now, if you're running a lot of wireless equipment, you may decide to have this adapter on regardless that you're only going, let's say 75 feet, just to make sure, but that's gonna be your choice. But really, 165 feet with the antenna is a great way to go. So when you buy the actual 208 from Kimifun, you're gonna get a nice little box that the whole thing's packed into, which is very nice. You're gonna get an instruction manual. It also comes with, you, of course, your transmitter and receiver set. And when you fully charge it, you're gonna get about two to three hours, if not longer. They're telling you to actually pay attention when using it because different microphones, of course, have different consumption rates. Of course, this has phantom power requirements. So it's going to be an active microphone and it's gonna require more power. And the SM58 is just a standard passive dynamic microphone, which means battery will last longer here than it will here. That being said, I've been actively using these and running them for over four hours now, and they're still running just fine, depending if I'm using them or not. They have been on and accumulatively over four hours. So, you know, something to be said there, that's really good. Also note, they do come with those antennas we've been talking about for the transmitter and the receiver. 
that's very important. If you want to get that 165 feet, you're going to need to add these guys onto the bottom. Each one of them has their 16 channels. You do want to sync it up and you do that by pressing the plus and holding it down and it's going to do its job for you. No problem. Just line it up. It goes all the way from zero to nine and then it goes from A to F. That's how it gets all 16 channels in there and you'll be fine. You can run up to five sets simultaneously. Make sure you select them and pair them all off to their individual numbers so this way they can act independently from each other. As for the manual, very well written manual. Uh, I do like it goes through everything in great detail. It's written in multiple languages. It makes sure and covers all the information that you're gonna need, including frequency band operations for the US and the UK and for Europe and Japan. All of that's all noted in here, which is really impressive that they've taken the time to cover all of that. Uh, they also talk about battery packs, everything that's built into the unit, how the unit functions, how the unit works and syncs up and the operating range and time for the whole system, which again, very nice. All part of what's in the manual. Like I said, I've, I did go over the manual several times because there's a lot of great things to look at in the book. I think it's an incredibly reasonably priced package for what you can do with it. I think it's really nice. I'm really a super fan of the locking mechanism that holds onto the microphone because that one feature alone is a really big deal for me because I get to put this in here and then once you tighten this down, that's it. This is locked into one solid piece. Nothing to worry about at that point. It's, you can't pull it out and it doesn't bend or shake in there, which is very important because one thing a lot of people miss on XLR connections is a loose XLR connection eventually will cause problems. These clips that fit over the pins will eventually open up and as that moves around, it will cause a staticky sound or a scratchy noise in your microphone. Very noticeable. And this, having that compression lock against the actual microphone is gonna prevent that from happening and it's gonna increase the longevity of both your wireless microphone, your microphone, and the overall quality of sound of the whole setup. Very, very well done. Well, there you go. I hope this video was helpful today in your buying decision. Maybe I'll see you in the next one. Like say, thanks for watching and bye for now.